Hi guys, Life of an Englishman here. Uh, it's Monday, Monday the 19th of September, and uh, I've been at Mum's today. I didn't go yesterday, like I, I normally go on Sundays, but Mum was working yesterday, so that didn't happen. That happened today instead. But uh, as usual, I come home with a few goodies. I could have come home with more goodies, but that would have meant probably about five trips up and down the stairs, so I left some in the workshop at Mum's. Um, I've got this um, Guitar Hero air guitar toy thing. This clips on your belt. That cable plugs into the side of that. Is it this side? No, it's the other side. And then plugs into the side of this. And uh, there's a game cartridge in here. And you just turn it on. You use one of these plectrums and you just wave it in front of this and it plays all sorts of little guitar sounds. So it's a novelty. Well, to me, it's just like a little novelty thing. Uh, but it's got two extra sockets on the front here. And I don't know what they're for. Came with batteries. That's something Biggles picked up today. Um, but I'm going to try and keep this as short as I can. I've actually got myself a stereo. <laughs> uh, it's a Marantz system. It cost me £20. Which I think was actually a complete bargain for this. Um... Originally it had these sort of plugs on. I've got no idea what they go to. But uh, he's had this sitting in his workshop for about two months. It's been sitting there for quite a while up the corner. And today I just sort of, you know, bit the bullet and asked about it. Because I've been tempted for a long while. Yeah, I put these on and it all works fine. It's got an uh, AM antenna, which I've just pulled off. <laughs> FM antenna and it's also got one of these um, coax sockets for the FM which I have I have a socket on the wall for the radio so and I do plan to stand it here and get do away with the other one that I've got uh, I'll just put you down oh yeah it's got line in and out here no idea. I don't know if it's for both tape sides of the tape deck, but uh, what is coming out up here goes to the input there and vice versa. This is the output that goes into the input up here. And of course we've got the Fono CD player. Yes, this one. Not sure what the age is of this. I'm hoping someone could tell me. Um... But going by the style on the front, it's got to be 80s. I don't think it's any newer than that, but I might research the model number on this and... Uh, problem with stack systems, everything bloody moves. So I'll just, let me just grab a light. See? Definitely an 80 style. It's got a CD player at the bottom there, twin tape deck in the middle, and then it's got the um, amp and radio in one section there. It's all as one unit, so that makes up three units, and the phono at the top makes up the fourth. That's what that lead with the funny plug on is for, but they all had that funny plug. So. I don't know if it plugged into like a special extension socket or something. But uh, I've got plenty of figure eight cables anyway. So I'm actually looking forward to uh, plugging this in and getting it up and running. But I'm not doing that till probably tomorrow. And it's going over there. I think I already said that. <laughs> and my old, or the other CD multi-changer stereo I've got. Uh, I don't know if it's worth selling. I might stick it up on Gumtree for free to get rid of it or something. I'd keep it as a spare, but I've got that portable one. 
which fully works, I can keep that as a spare, which would be easier to store as well. Um, I'll keep these Sony speakers, which I could actually connect up to that as well. <laughs> I've got the original speakers with it. He cut the um, cables off, but there is enough there to reconnect, so it's actually more than enough there to reconnect. Yeah, tomorrow I want to get a good old clean up in there, so I'm happy. I know if this is this is probably a high end. Um, well, I know Marantz is an expensive brand, or was an expensive brand. Stereo amplifier, model PM two six two five three. Sorry, two five three L for the stereo tuner. SD343 for the tape deck. Hmm. It's not going to have one single model number, is it? I'm going to have to do a bit of uh, digging. But I'm guessing if I could find, you know, the release year of at least one of these sections, I probably wouldn't be far off, because I'm guessing this was all sold as a complete system. I really am looking forward to getting it set up. Twin tape deck. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely spotless in there. Wow. And that one. Absolutely spotless. I am impressed. Cool. I was thinking of putting this in the bedroom, but I think I have actually gone against that. and It will go back in here. Because there's no point in me having two big stereos set up in here, is the It works. Biggles has tested it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, I had a bit of a clean up. Yeah, I'll keep hold of that one, because I know it's not a big brand or anything. It's only an AWA. But uh, that's easier to store, because I could... Clear some room on that shelf and just stack it up there. Alright. Well, that means, once I've got that set up, I could actually do away with um, my single tape deck and Ferguson record deck. Both work fine. It's just record player could do with um, some TLC. Because the slide switches on the end here are a bit crackly. WD-40 did clean them up a little bit and improve them, but this, it needs some proper cleaner in there. Maybe someone that likes these things and uh, wants to put a little time and effort into it. Actually, I think there's a lot of things I'm going to get rid of. That tube radio, that'll probably go on eBay. That's going to be quite expensive to post, though, because it's fucking heavy. I'm not really keen on posting it, but Ethernet switch that can go on. I don't need that. I'm just going to use my little ones. I mean, I could use that, but I don't really need something, you know, with like 20 bleeding or we'll however many ports that's got on the front. I can't remember. Uh, so I'll just keep the DVD player and VCR as two as spares. So I've got one spare of each, you know, one set in use with the Sony VIO computer. Uh, I can't remember if I showed you this either. My buddy of mine that borrowed my giant come round yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was. No, it won't. It was a couple of days ago, and I think I did show you. So I've got that RC car down there. Fix the motor on it. There's that shell. It just needs a battery. That's all it needs. A battery and a couple of the um, pins to hold the plastic shell on. Yeah, oh, it came with a remote control as well. <laughs> Made in Japan. Yeah, none of this made in bloody China bollocks. Dust the uh, top of that down.
I have got a soft duster somewhere. Yeah, I really am a happy chappy. Um, one of the charity shops in town did have a couple of these in in the past, but I never had the bleeding cash to get one. Because I always had them on the week that I didn't get my money, so... But, uh, I've got one now. I might get hold of another one if another sort of bargain comes along. I know Biggles has got a Kenwood set. And he's also got a radio, separate radio and amplifier there as well, which I might be interested in. No, I could set up a, a mish, you know, a mishmash of uh, things in the bedroom. I've got the Ferguson record player. I've got tape deck, and if I get that amplifier and uh, radio tuner, I could really have a mismatched set in there. Nah, I think I'll um, sell the tape deck. Part of me really wants to keep it, but that was just for the sake of keeping it, really. I don't need it. That is one of my biggest issues. I've got so much shit that I could actually sell. And I've just got this part of me that says, no, keep it. No, keep it. No reason to keep it. You know? But, uh, no. <laughs> so, I'm really going to have to be, um, forceful with myself, I think, and sell those items. Again, um, I'm going to try both items on Gumtree. I'll have a look on Gumtree later and uh, see if there's A, any on there and B, what sort of prices people are asking. And I'll have a look on eBay as well so I can ask a fair price. So I don't want to, you know, ask too much, and I don't want to ask too little. I want to sort of be somewhere in the middle, you know, between those. <sighs> what do you say, Nemo? Shall I sell some of my crap? I couldn't sell you, though. You're my buddy. <laughs> stuck in your fur around your neck, what is it? Or have you scratched yourself on something? Not scratched yourself on something. Oh dear. I think that is it. Oh. And uh, Biggles did give me um, a bunch of handlebars. Bicycle handlebars. A complete mix of um, alloy ones. Like he said he could be bothered with, and a lot of them are stamped rally. So I could actually uh, sell them for a few quid on eBay, but I don't know. I might, but I would like to keep a few as uh, spares because uh, I do get the odd racing bike in now and again that I do like to uh, rebuild and whatnot. In fact, I've got two frames at mums that I could do that with, so. <clears throat> I think it's wheels that I like. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, there's a couple of subwoofers. Uh, one Tanyo brand and one JVC brand. And the JVC, there's no electrics on it or no inputs or anything. It's just a speaker wire coming out of the back. So I'm presuming you would connect that to either an amplifier or a stereo or something that's got the subwoofer connection on it. And I know they exist because I've seen them. Uh, so I'll probably keep hold of that one. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other one. And there was some other audio device, and I can't remember what my brother called it now. Um, but I'm not sure if that actually works. 
he rather said if it does work, he'd be interested in it. Well, he can have it if he wants it. <laughs> His PC is set up. I was playing around with that yesterday. Because he wanted me to, uh, well, as you know, build him a temporary one up to get his main gaming rig built and uh, yeah I had fun and games with that bastard last night <laughs> he chose the Intel board I've got a habit sitting here like this I don't know why it's just a habit but it's an, an annoying habit anyway he chose the Intel gigabyte board out of the two so I installed that as you saw and uh, I installed Windows 10, fine. I installed Firefox, fine. I installed AVG. That went fine until the whole system froze, including the mouse cursor. It just froze. So I turned it off at the button, turned it back on. No output to monitor whatsoever. And there was no beeping to indicate a fault so I'm not sure if the motherboard has failed or if the processor failed or <coughs> usually you get an error code beep at you if it's the um, RAM and I know it's not the RAM because I've used that on the other motherboard so I changed it for the AMD motherboard which my brother found out can be upgraded to a si up to a um, 6 core processor AMD processor and 8 gigabytes DDR2 memory so that wouldn't be a bad sp um, specification PC and it's actually made me want to upgrade the other PC I've got my Windows 7 I might upgrade that to Windows 10 <laughs> so yeah but uh, I took it over I did get the AMD motherboard in and reinstall Windows 10 and whatnot. I don't think I actually had to now that I thought think about it. But uh, I did anyway. <laughs> um. So yeah, we set it up, got the Wi Fi working. He bought a um, computer sound system off Biggles, 20 quid, I think. Yeah, and uh, he's got that <laughs> set up in the bedroom now, so he's, as the old sign go, he, he's uh, happy as a pig in shit. So am I, because I've got the stereo. <laughs> I can't wait to set that up. Um, and like I said, I've got a busy day, I've got to clean this crap hole up yet. If we're going to be fixing bikes up here, I've got to find somewhere to put the Schwinn. I think that's going to have to go in the bedroom. Shit. I've actually just realised. Oh no, that will be alright. Just. Just. I want to raise the height of the handlebars and that might just be alright. I thought the outers might be a bit too short. If they are, I'm just going to have to totally rebuild the bike with new cables. <laughs> Because obviously I've set it all up for the um, lower handlebar. Oh well. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble on for much longer. I don't know how long have I rambled on for now. Uh, 19 minutes. Let me bang on 20 minutes. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. And uh, if you want to, drop a like on the video. And if you like um, anything audio. Uh or anything in the video, or whatever. <laughs> um, and uh, I will talk to you again at some point tomorrow. And hopefully this land will be a hell of a lot cleaner. <laughs>